Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Shaco, the Demon Jester. Shaco is a melee assassin, adept at quickly darting around combat, disrupting his enemies with crowd control effects, and sowing confusion around a battle. Shaco makes for an excellent jungler and has a number of different builds, as we'll demonstrate in this video. Shaco's passive is Backstab. All of Shaco's basic attacks deal bonus damage when striking a target from behind. Deceive causes Shaco to blink, turning invisible for a short time. If Shaco lands a basic attack a few seconds after using Deceive, it will automatically deal a critical strike for bonus damage. Deceive is the most important ability for attack damage Shaco, but the least important when focusing on ability power. Jack in the Box places in a mobile box on the ground, which lasts for a while. After a short time, it turns invisible. Any enemy that walks near an invisible Jack in the Box causes it to wake up, fearing nearby enemies, attacking them, and then quickly dying. Always take Jack in the Box at level 1, maxing it after Deceive for AD Shaco, or first for AP Shaco. 2 Shiv Poison passively causes Shaco's basic attacks to slow enemies. Minions that Shaco attacks also have a chance to miss their attacks while slowed. Shaco may activate 2 Shiv Poison to directly damage and slow target enemy, but this disables the passive slow until it cools back down. Always take 2 Shiv Poison at level 3 and max it after Jack in the Box. Hallucinate is Shaco's ultimate. Upon casting Hallucinate, Shaco creates a clone of himself, dodging all attacks and abilities aimed at him in the process. The Hallucinate clone deals damage just as Shaco would, with one added benefit. When the clone dies, it explodes, dealing significant damage to nearby enemies. I play Shaco as an attack damage focused jungler on Summoner's Rift. Taking a point in Jack in the Box while buying cloth armor and 5 health potions, I rush across the map to set up Jack in the Boxes for my jungle route. Remember that boxes have a fairly long lifespan in stealth, so set up a bunch of them in preparation for the jungle spawns. Stay tuned for the end of the video for the full jungle pattern. Shaco also excels at stealing the enemy's buffs. Many junglers start by killing the ancient golem, which respawns 5 minutes after it's killed. Typically, this means it will respawn about 7 minutes into the game. As a result, I plant a jack in the box and pull the golem over. I deceive behind to trigger backstab and keep attacking. Note that I move in between attacks in an attempt to trigger more backstab bonuses. Sure enough, the enemy Shaco shows up just as I finish killing it. I deceive away immediately and then drop a jack in the box in the path he'll take to follow me. As I make my escape, Shivana comes down from the top lane to pick me off. I continue to run away as far from her as possible, making sure to jump over the wall when Deceive comes off of cooldown. She follows me, so I try to hide underneath my turret, again dropping a Jack in the Box to block her chase. The enemy Shaco finally makes his way in, so I toss a Shiv at him, he gets feared by my Jack in the Box, and then Jax picks up the kill. Now Shivana tries to return for the kill, so I Deceive to dodge Flame Breath, and then toss in another Shiv when I know she's going down. Thanks to Shaco's elusiveness, I steal the Golem and draw two enemy champions into their deaths. Upon buying Madrid's Razors and reaching level 6, you can easily solo the dragon. To do this, first use Hallucinate. Attack the dragon with yourself and pull your clone behind it to start gaining backstab bonus damage. Once the dragon is about halfway dead, deceive in place. The invisibility will cause the dragon to switch to your Hallucinate cloak. Continue attacking it and then use Smite to grab the kill. Shaco has a ton of ganking potential throughout the mid game because he's so slippery. I see Graves fighting near the top lane, so I deceive over the wall and lay a trap in the brush. He flashes away, saving him from the fear of Jack in the Box, but I keep chasing. Boots of Mobility kick in, and I catch up with Deceive and a critical strike in his back for the kill. Before retreating back up, I stop and set my Hallucinate clone in first, so it tanks all the damage of the turret. In Dominion, I play Shaco as an ability power caster. I rush a Deathfire Grasp and try to hunt for smaller fights. As Gangplank interrupts my capture, I shoot out Jack in the Box, Deathfire Grasp, and 2 Shift Poison immediately. I then deceive in for a backstab, and then run as I can't win a basic attack fight. As 2 Shift Poison comes back from cooldown, I turn back in and take him with a cast and a few basic attacks. Shaco also defends points extremely well. Here I sit in the brush near the health relic and spam Jack in the Boxes. As Graves comes into capture, I use Hallucinate and run the clone at him. He attacks it, not realizing it's only the clone, as I keep myself hidden in the brush. Seeing him low, I run in, deceive, and chase in as I take him down with a 2 shift poison throw. Shaco's elusiveness makes him a huge menace to assaulting champions. I deceive in and tag Graves with Deathfire Grasp and 2 shift poison, taking him down almost immediately. 
then Jax heads for me, so I pop hallucinate and focus in with the clone while I try to escape. Seeing Malzahar try to capture, I deceive over to him, and take him out with just a deceive crit and a throw of 2 shift poison. Another fight happens over the quarry. As always, I'm very flighty, planting a jack in the box to cover my retreat and harassing Malzahar with 2 shift poison. I then take down Malzahar with Deathfire Grasp and turn to Graves, using both summoner spells to survive him until I drop him with 2 shift poison and ignite. I head back to the capture point and help Scion kill Jax. I try to land 2 shift poison, but as he enters the brush, I deceive away, afraid of Jax's damage output, killing him with 2 shift poison for max range. I play Shaco in two completely different ways in Classic and Dominion, so let's go over my setup side by side. In Classic, I take Armor Penetration Marks, Armor Seals, Cooldown Reduction Glyphs, and Attack Damage Quintessences. This setup is aimed solely at giving me massive early game damage. In Dominion, I take Magic Penetration Marks, Ability Power per Level Seals, Ability Power per Level Glyphs, and Flat Ability Power Quintessences. This setup is aimed at dealing massive damage late game with 2 Shift Poison, Jack in the Box, and Hallucinate. My masteries are 2109 in both builds, making sure to take Magic Penetration and Offense for AP Shaco. When jungling, I take Smite and Ignite, while Exhaust and Ignite work great in Dominion. In Classic, I open with a Cloth Armor and 5 Health Potions. I rush Ruggles Lantern and grab Boots of Mobility so that I can clear the jungle quickly and keep ganking. From here, I assess my situation. If I'm doing well, I'll grab Infinity Edge and work toward Trinity Force. If I'm not doing well, I'll grab Phage and consider Hex Drinker for more durability. Eventually, I round out my build by grabbing Guardian Angel and Banshee's Veil in addition to my earlier offensive items. In Dominion, I open with a Cage's Lucky Pick and Boots of Speed, upgrading to Sorcerer's Shoes and Deathfire Grasp. I continue to add damage to my build with Rabidin's Death Cap, Hextech Gunblade, and Morello's Evil Tome. My final item is Guardian Angel, which will often let me escape after death with the Sieve and Jack in the Box. Thanks for tuning in to the Shaco Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.